In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a cover three beating concept that uh, beats every cover three in Madden 21, including deep halving your outside corners. Now, this came to us from D. Croft um, from the Seattle Seahawks Club Championships uh, with really, really great lab work. Finding this um, little route combination that's really, really effective. You can do it from a lot of different formations. I'm in the Gun Y off trio week in the Carolina Panthers playbook. Um, right now I'm going to show you this and this comes to us from the stick and up play uh, out of this out of this formation. And you can do this out of several different plays, different formations. D. Cruff was doing it out of the New England Patriots playbook. We're going to show it to you out of Gun Wild Off Trio Week. Now if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Basically what we do here at my channel is we do different tips and tricks like this every day. Um, essentially showing you different things and route combinations that you might think about experimenting with yourself. Um, you can oftentimes add these route combinations to the playbook that you're already using because we try to teach conceptual. Um, we don't just try to teach money plays. We try to do is teach routes, route combinations, and how you can add those into your scheme. So if that's something that interests you, I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, cover three sky press. And what we're going to do is we're going to just deep half our outside guys. And what you're going to see is that actually locks up a lot of people's different cover three beaters. So especially bombs against cover three. So what we're going to do, and this play already has really good stock routes. The route to Brown is really, really good against man-to-man -man coverage. Um, the route to Gronk is okay against man. The route to Mike Evans on the left is one of the best routes in the game. And you see from this formation, he is kind of compressed. You see if I audible to any of the other ones, he's still compressed. He's in that same you know, basic compression. So if I try to if I try to hot route him with a hot route master quarterback, you see he gets outside hot routes. So I could put him on a smoke screen. I could put him on a, a comeback route as opposed to some of the stock from a slot receiver. Okay, that can be good and that can be bad at the same time. All right, so anyway, the basic route combination we're going to do is we're going to put Brown on a streak. We're going to put Mike or uh, Godwin on a comeback route. So right a screen, slot on a streak. Right of screen, outside wide receiver on a comeback route. And then with Gronkowski, we can kind of do whatever we want. I think putting him on a, just a simple basic out route works best, or a simple basic in route will work the best. And because he's kind of flexed like this, it's going to help with his man beating uh, principles. If they were to, if we were to guess wrong and they were to be in man to man coverage. Anyway, the step of the ball, all you're going to do is you're just you are just going to sh um, literally hit the pass lead up to Antonio Brown, and you're going to see it's going to go for a one-play touchdown against cover three. Now, really quickly, I want to sh I want to go over one thing really quickly about this. If the safety roll comes from the play side, meaning the left side safety on the screen right here, so the weak side of the formation, um, if he is in the cover three, um, then what that means is you're going to throw this quick. So if you see them kind of span out like this, you're just going to throw this with a pass lead up, and you're going to rat catch it, and oftentimes you're going to score a touchdown. Okay, that's kind of one way to do it. Now, if they flip the defense, um, to, if maybe the defense auto flips and the safety is now coming from the right side, you're going to see you're going to hit the same route, but you're just going to hit it in a little bit of a different, a uh, little bit of a different timing. So same route combination. We look okay. Oh, the safety is on the play side. So now what we've got to do is we've got to let him either come down or we can hit the post route. Now, most of the time, the safety is going to come down on the ball. Occasionally, uh, I have noticed that there are instances where the, and this is kind of how it is with a lot of different cover three beaters this year, there are instances where that safety will play the deep responsibility the way he's supposed to play it. Um, there are also instances where he won't. And to be quite honest with you, uh, cover three beaters are a little bit weird this year. Um, and you'll see here he didn't do it again. But um, if we were to go to big nickel over G, which we'll go over big nickel over G really quick, the cover three comes from a different side, different safety, and all of that. So we'll show you that really, really quickly here. Uh, again, gun, da, 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 Y off trio weak, and the play is uh, stick it up. Now, if you wanted to do it exactly the way D. Croft did it, you can use it from, I think the play is um, Y option, or um, tight end deep out, I think, or tight end, tight end whip uh, from the New England Y off trips formation. Pretty sure those are the routes. But anyway, cover three sky here from big nickel over G. So you see something like this. This is what's going to – this this combination here should be wide open. So we're just going to streak Brown, come back on that side, the out route, snap of the ball. 
and what you'll see is that corner or that safety will completely dumb out because he'll basically be trying to he'll be kind of thinking he's supposed to go guard the skinny post or the little crossing post route and instead he's going to get burned for a one play touchdown so what you're going to do whenever you see the safety kind of go to the right and it might just be a thing in big nickel or g honestly i'm not 100 percent sure but um but what you'll see here on this snap of the ball step up in the pocket and pass like that inside click on and you're just going to swerve catch as soon as you see that safety kind of start to jimmy a little bit to the right that's when you're going to make that throw and it's it's fairly consistent out of big nickel over g um it really you know of the other formations that'll be interesting to test that out you know does nickel normal have the same issue um is it from a four down lineman set you know what are the kind of common themes with this but anyways guys that's a one play touchdown for you out of cover three um this came in from decroft so shout out to him he's one of the best labbers in the community one of the best offensive players um was able to see uh this just torch young kids uh cover three defense i think he was a nickel 365 wide as well so um, it might be a thing that's universal to maybe the nickel packages within the cover three defense. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. If you haven't already joined the text membership, it's completely free to join. Um, all you got to do is text me. Text membership basically means every week we send out a, a pretty in-depth tip, whether it be a, uh, I think this week we're doing a full uh, mini ebook, mini guide uh, for you guys via the Carolina Bunch. Um, we'll be doing some other stuff, high level stuff, maybe some, maybe even do some film studies on some of these guys in the pro circuit. Um, but we'll share, uh, different things. We've showed big nickel over G run defense. We've shown big nickel over G, um, pressure schemes. Um, and those are typically longer in form. So about 30 minutes to 60 minutes. So I can go in high, high amount of detail about what is actually happening and really break it down for you guys so that you can understand it at a deeper level. It's completely free to join that. All you got to do is text me again. My number is 812. 216-3644. Um, if you haven't already joined the Discord yet, be sure to do that as well. There's a link in the description for that. And other than that, guys, we will see you tonight on our live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. See ya.